Hey guys, my name is Rugila and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing one of my most requested video ever and I will be showing you how I edit my thumbnails and all the apps I'm using are completely free. So if you want to learn a simple way to make really aesthetic and eye-catching thumbnails then keep on watching. So once you have your pictures, the first thing you want to do is to add a filter. So for this step, I will be using an app probably all of you know called Visco and I actually purchased a premium version a few weeks ago, but for my thumbnails, I'm using a free filter so you don't need to worry about paying anything. So the first step is to upload your pictures to Visco. So you just click a little plus button, select your pictures and click import and there you have them. So we want to click edit and we want to select the G3 filter and just click on it one more time and bring it down to about 8.5 and then we want to increase the exposure so I will do about 1.5 then we want to lower the saturation so I usually lower it for about minus 1.1 and then just click OK and then we also want to go into the white balance and bring down temperature a little and increase the tint to about plus 3. Then we also want to go on skin tone and decrease it to about minus 2.5 for this picture but sometimes I do minus 3 and there we have it so we just click next and we just click save. So that's one picture done and I just do the same thing to my other picture. And when we have our pictures edited, then we want to actually make a collage and we will go to an app called, well, you know, I will write the name on the screen because it's too confusing to say. So yeah, we're gonna go to this app, click collage and select our pictures. Okay, so once you have your pictures, you just click select and here you have your collage. So you just select whatever template you want to use and... What I want to do is to remove the little white border because I don't really like it, so I just remove it. And we also want to select the size of 720p. And then I will just adjust my pictures so they would look good in our template. So I will just, you know, resize them, move them a little so they would look nice and cute. And once I'm happy with how it looks, I just click next and click yes because with this app, when you click next, you can't edit your collage anymore, so just make sure it looks good. And then I just click done and save image. Okay, so once we have our collage all done, we want to adjust our size to match the YouTube thumbnail size. So for this step, I'll be using an app called Canva. And as I've said, I use this app to make the thumbnail the right size and also to add a little pin border on my thumbnail because I just think it makes them look more put together. So, I already have my template, but if you want to create a new thumbnail or create a thumbnail for the first time, you just click a little plus button and there you have an option use of thumbnail, so you would just click on that one. But as I've said, I already have mine, so I would just go into my designs. And here I have this pink thumbnail template, so I would just go to the camera roll and upload my picture. And I will just resize it and crop it a little bit to make it look good and to make the border look really tiny. Okay, so once I'm happy with how it looks, I will just click save and it would save the picture to my camera roll. And now once we have our picture the right size and all done, we just want to add the text on it. So for this step, I will be using an app called Fonto. And for adding text on your images, this is the best app I've ever tried. Once you open your app, you want to select photo albums and go to recents and here you have your picture so you just click on it select done and here you have your picture on the app so to add text you simply just press on the screen and it says add text so you just click that and you can type whatever text you want but what we want to do first is for my thumbnails i like to use two fonts and one of them is called helvetica newborn italic and the other one is called keep on tracking and these fonts aren't originally in the app but I will show you how to download them completely for free. So we just want to go into our browser and go to the website called dafont.com and in this website 
You can download hundreds and thousands of fonts and they are so original and so nice so I absolutely recommend it. You can find literally whatever you want in here. So to find your font you just go to the search and type in the font and it will show you it but I will download just a random font for now to, just to show you how it works. So once you pick your font you just select download and it asks you do you want to download and you just click OK. And then you want to click a little blue arrow in the top of your phone and you have your downloaded font here so you just click on it and it will take you to the app files on your phone. So you just select your font, hold on it and click share and then you have an option copy to Fonto so you just select that and here you have your font so you just click install and the font is all installed. So then we want to actually add text. So this thumbnail is for my video which is already up and it's what's on my iPhone so you can check that out as well. So I'll just select add text and type in what's on my iPhone XS and I will just bring the words iPhone XS into the next line and I will also tap on a line and make it align to center so you know it will just look nicer once i'm happy with my text i would select done and here i have it so as you can see if the text is white you can't really see it it kind of blends with the background of your thumbnail so i have a quick solution for that so you want to select style and you have two options color and style so first we want to go into style and we have the first option alpha so we want to bring it all the way up and as you can see it gave that nice shadow which really makes our text to pop and if you want your text to be even more eye-catching you just want to click on the style again and this time go into stroke and bring the alpha all the way up and it gives like a little lines on the side of your letters and you can also adjust how thick or thin they are so I would usually like to go at about 4 and when I click done as you can see my text is now really easy to read so I would also adjust the size and I also want to be on the center of the image so to do that I would just select move and click a little A with two hours pointing in it it will automatically move my text to the center of the image okay so once I'm happy with my text what I also like to do is to add a little stars in the picture because I think it just looks more aesthetic and more eye-catching. So to do that, we just want to click that free line icon in the left side of our phone and it gives us an option add items. So you just want to click on that and you have a whole selection of items. You can add your picture completely for free. So I will just select the star and the only thing I don't like about adding these stars is because you literally can't copy paste them. You have to add each star separately and select the size of it and it's just a hard and long work. But I think the result is worth it so just letting you know. So I will just bring the size to about 16 and just position the star whenever I want it to be and just add another one, resize it again and just bring it to the other place I want it to be. So you just place the star whenever you want it to be and then you just repeat it and still you have all the stars in all the places you want them to be. So once I'm happy how my thumbnail looks like, I just select the share button and click the option save image and it saves your image to your camera roll. And what I also sometimes like to do is to go on my iPhone gallery and select an option edit and just finish editing my picture on there. So I would just adjust the exposure, the brilliance. So what this option does, it just makes the background around you more exposed or less exposed. So I would just play with these settings in this app and once I'm happy with the result, I would just click done and here we have our thumbnails. Okay guys, so that was it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you got some new ideas how to edit your thumbnails. So if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more videos like this, then give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram so you would never miss a new video. And yeah, I will see you in my next video. So bye guys.